The wind advisory is no longer for Connecticut. We still have river flood warnings for the Connecticut River, Hartford Point South. Uh, it has certainly crested. It is receding, but doing so slowly, likely staying above flood stage until Thursday, perhaps even Friday. But at least between now and then, we have a dry pattern. And while today was certainly windy, uh, tomorrow a bit breezy, but not as bad as what we experienced today. We could see some wind gusts tomorrow, 20 to 25 miles an hour. Certainly a bright day, and we're going to be trending much, much warmer. Um, we're heading into mid-March. March, but before the week is over, it could feel more like late April here across Connecticut. And as we head toward Friday in the upcoming week, and we do have a chance for uh, some showers. More on that in just a moment. Right now, we're certainly clear, dry, 38 looking live from Waterbury. And if you were out and about earlier today, or perhaps catch catching any of our newscasts, you saw the flag blowing around there. Not the case. The wind certainly subsiding, still up a bit along the shoreline looking live from Mystic. So temperatures right now inland between 35 and 40, between 40 and 45 along the 95 corridor. And these are the most recent sustained winds. So certainly a step in the right direction up now between 5 to 15, 15 to 20 miles an hour. So certainly not as strong as earlier. And while they will continue to diminish a bit, they're not going to go entirely calm. All the wind right now, uh, compliments of this uh, counterclockwise spin there across Nova Scotia, an area of low pressure that's slowly moving away uh, in its wake, high pressure to our southwest. So between the two, we've got that wind that is up out of the northwest. But eventually the wind changes direction and will help to send some warmer air here into Connecticut. So tonight we'll bottom out between 30 and 35 inland, mid 30s along the shoreline. And while that wind is up, it will make it feel more like the mid and upper 20. So even wind chill wise, uh, not too bad out there compared to what it could be like for this time of year. And our first alert future cast throughout the day tomorrow, the absence of gray indicates a clear sky. A little bit of that northwesterly breeze though continues through the course of our Tuesday, but it will be noticeably milder, mid and upper 50s. A little bit milder along the shoreline as opposed to inland Connecticut by a degree or two, thanks to that uh, offshore component uh, to the wind. And here's first alert future cast for our Wednesday showing as well, partly to mostly sunny sky, uh, temperatures trending even warmer. So by Wednesday, we're heading to around 64 inland. And then on Thursday, a mix of sun and clouds, high temperatures into uh, the mid, perhaps upper 60s, depending upon how much sunshine we see. So uh, certainly running above average for uh, Thursday. The averages are in the mid 40s, but the record 78 for the Hartford area set back in 1946. That will likely stand as well as the record for Bridgeport of 70 from uh, 2012. So uh, we're not going to set any sort of records, but it is going to still be unsafe seasonably warm for Thursday. Friday high temperatures near 60. Now Thursday night, early Friday, there's a chance for a couple of showers uh, that could linger into early Friday morning. Otherwise, we end the week mostly cloudy with a rising chance for rain through the afternoon and evening on Friday. Uh, a shower or two could linger into early Saturday, otherwise going optimistically dry, relatively cooler, but still running above average for this time of year with highs in the mid 50s for Saturday. Mid 50s as well for Sunday, St. Patrick's Day. We'll see a partly to mostly cloudy sky again with an increasing chance for some showers later in the day and for uh, right now going uh, for as well temps in the 50s and an ongoing chance for showers as we head toward Monday. So uh, if you're one who likes the warmer weather, certainly take advantage of not only the warm, bright and dry weather over the next several days. Uh, you may need the coat in the morning, but certainly will not need it during the course of the afternoon with again temperatures running uh, really 20 degrees by Thursday above average for this time of year.